find is dwarf. I am an extraterrestrial from the planet Falcon. <laughs> What's going on all you beautiful builders out there? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am continuing on today with the Back to the Future DeLorean fan home build. Uh, we have been having some delay issues with parts and getting some wrong parts. So if you watch the last video, you're going to see that I, um, I got the wrong parts for mounting the transmission and engine to the chassis of the car. And these are the parts that they sent me right here. Boop, 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 boop. And they're just the wrong ones. I had contacted them, and the very next business day, they contacted me back and apologized and said that they had already shipped it out to me. And they shipped out a new uh, Pack 23 here with the magazine. Uh, very quickly, they were right on it. I got it in like a week, something like that. Uh, that right there is the proper mount. As you can see, this is the one they sent me, the ones they sent me. And uh, these are the ones that are supposed to go on the car. Completely different. I'm really not sure which car these go to. If anybody knows what car these mounts go to that look like this, uh, let me know in the description down below because I have no idea or even how they would have got into the DeLorean pack. This was box six, and I wasn't able to finish the build because of these pieces here. I needed to be able to mount the transmission and the motor into the chassis so that I could put the axles and stuff like that in. So I wasn't able to finish that. I have the axles and everything here. I wasn't able to get that finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now uh, with box seven. Now in box seven, they were missing stage 30. It's supposed to be 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, but they did not have stage 30 in stock. And uh, that is the water piping. It goes from the uh, the radiator at the front of the car back to the motor at the back of the car. Uh, I'm going to be able to do all of these stages, 27 through 31. I'm just going to be missing stage 30. Uh, that is supposed to come with box 8. However, they have now contacted me to let me know that box 8 will also be delayed. And that's going to have six stages in it, including stage 30 from this. But they have already shipped out box 9 to me. That has now been shipped. But I won't be able to do that one until I get box 8. So, No, it's very no. confusing. <sighs> it's a real pain on this one, uh, trying to do the videos, doing all the stages with each box that it's supposed to come to. So I'm just going to do what I can as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up. Issue 23, and I believe it's 26, 23, and finishing up stages 26 from box 6, and then I will go ahead and do box 7, except for stage 30. Uh, that, that won't be part of it, but I'll be able to do everything else. It's not going to hinder uh, the build at all uh, up to this point. So let's go ahead and get up top, guys, and get this thing open. All right, guys, here is box seven of the build your own back to the future delorean time machine from fan home i've already cut it open so i could see what was inside to make sure it was the right box so let's go ahead and get inside and see what we got all right again i'm supposed to be missing stage 30 and yes it looks like i have four stages here oh that's a big heavy piece there so i've got uh 27, 28, 29, and 31 is what we got. Let's go ahead and get those magazines out. All right, looks like the box is empty. So, so I can get rid of that. Nice. We sent that thing back to the future. Okay, here we go, guys. Here are our magazines of the parts we're going to be working on today. Uh, but we are going to be finishing up. Issues 23 and 25, I believe. 23 or 25 or 26, I can't remember. Anyways, we're going to be finishing those up first, and then we'll be attacking this. So let's get going. All right, guys, here's our motor and transmission. 
Now, like I said in the last issue, I would probably go back and glue these wires in, and I did. I glued them in so they would stay in because they kept popping off of the uh, little pegs that they connect to. So I went ahead and I super glued them on there, so uh, they should be staying on now. So anyways, looking very nice. Let's go ahead and get these put on. We're gonna need some DM screws here. Let me get these out of the bag. Here we go. All right, we're gonna take uh, 23E, that's this one here, and it's gonna go on this side of the transmission, and it's gonna sit on it just like this. But since this is screwing in the metal, I'm gonna put a little dab of oil on these. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this put on there and screwed in. Get the Fantic screwdriver out of here. We're going to use it. All right, let's go ahead and get these put in. Yeah, we got the one side on. Let's go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. All right, we got those mounts on now. Looks just like that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, guys, we have to mount this into the car now, which we couldn't do before because, well, we didn't have. Uh, the mounts to mount it on with. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna sit this in the car. It's gonna go in just like this down in the car. And then we're going to, uh, see if we can flip this over without breaking anything. All right, now you can see on this side, this is gonna attach in this hole right here and in these two holes with uh, three DM screws. All right, found the pack of DM screws here to, to track them down. Couldn't remember where I put them, but I got them here. I still had a couple left over from before, so I grabbed those and then uh, just went out of this pack. So let's go ahead and get these put in. Uh, once again, though, we're going into metal, so I'm going to see if I can put a bloop of oil on all three of the points. There's one underneath, and I got some oil there, and then there's two on the actual frame here. And here, just like that. I'm gonna put a little too much, but that's all right. I'm gonna see if I can get this one started first. There we go. I'm gonna drop that screw down in there. See if we can get that one going. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down just yet. Let's get these other two in. Get the other one going, and then I'll snug them all down. All right, there we go, guys. That's mounted in there nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. Nice. Let's go ahead and move on here. All right, now we're going to be putting these axles in. We got two of these axles, and uh, we're going to be putting those in, and two of these boots. Okay, now we're going to get the first one here. All right, first we need to find uh, part 12D, and you're going to know the difference is uh, by the way this little tab sits on it's gonna be closer to the top if it's sitting this direction so and then we're gonna get one of these rubber boots here this is 26 G and we're gonna slide that on about halfway up like that and right, now we're gonna have to flip this back over again See if I can put something here let's rest it on this there we go all right now we're gonna put this in this needs to go into the hub of the wheel I know it's kind of hard to see and then this is gonna sit on top of this pin that's coming out of the transmission here and here. There's one on each side. It's going to sit on it just like that and go into the hub of the wheel. Okay, and then we're going to screw that in right here with one EP screw. All right, now we got that screwed all the way down here. We're going to take that boot and we're going to slide it over uh, just like that. And it's going to look like that. There we go. All right, now we're going to go over over here and do the other side. Okay, I'm going to slide that boot over it. There we go. And it's going to look like that. There's both sides. Nice. Okay, guys, now we got these two parts here, 26E and 26F. Here they are. And those are going to go on the back here. Okay, one's going to go right here. And one's going to go on the other side right here, uh, both connecting to the muffler. All right, we got our AP screws out here. All right, and these are going to come straight off of that muffler like this. 
uh, one on each side. All right, let's go ahead and get one of these AP screws and we'll go ahead and put this on. Set this on its side. Go ahead and get this put on. There we are, just like that. Flip it over and we're gonna do the other side. Here we go, and there's the other one. A little like that from the back. Nice. All right, guys, that should finish up what we couldn't do on box six. So let's go ahead and move on to box seven, stage 27. You're telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? All right, here's the magazine for uh, stage 27. We can get a look inside here at our parts. Looks like we're going to be working on the radiator shroud here, the fans. Oh, and it looks like the horn as well. We're going to be attaching those on, uh, putting the fans into the shroud. And that should be it for this issue. Let's go ahead and get a quick glance through the rest of it real quick. All right, looks like in the next issue we're going to be putting the radiator on. Well, let's get started. All right, guys, we got the horn here, and this is a bracket that holds the horn onto the car. I'm going to turn the horn this way. The bracket's going to sit on like this. There's a little pin that goes into this hole and then lines that hole up, and we're gonna screw that on with a GP screw. Nice and snug, there we go. And now we're gonna get our car frame out of here. This is gonna go at the front of the car. Let's spin this around here. And the horn is gonna go right here. So we have a pin right here on the horn. You can see right there, there it is. And that's gonna go into this big hole right here lining the horn up with this hole, and we're gonna screw that in with an NM screw. And since that's going in a metal, we're gonna put a drop of our oil right there. Again, guys, this is Liberty Oil Products, 100% synthetic lubricant, and it uh, works really well. So I will have a link for this down in the description below, if you're interested. If you're not interested, you can use any kind of oil really you want. Uh, that's just what I use, it's very convenient. I like the little needle nose on it there. It helps really pinpoint where I wanna put the oil, so. All right, we got our screw here. We got our horn. Get that put back on, and let's uh, screw this bad boy down. Nice, there we go, guys. Got our horn attached to the frame. All right, now we have these two pieces here. We got 27F and 27E. This one's 27F. It's gonna go on the driver's side front of the car, right by the horn. It's got a little pin right there. It's gonna go into the, the one hole, and then we're gonna screw it into the other hole. So, now really hard to mess this up. With that, we're gonna put a little, little bloop of oil on there. Get that ready for the screw. There we go. And we're gonna be putting one on this side too, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bloop of oil here as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this one put on and screwed down, and then we'll take care of the other side. Here we go. Now we'll take care of the drinker side, as they say. Passenger side, get that one set on there. Here we go, guys, it's gonna look just like that on the front. I believe this is a, a mount for a radiator. Yeah, we're gonna move that out of the way. And we're gonna get our radiator and uh, shroud here, fan shroud and our fans. And we're gonna screw these fans onto the radiator just like this. One here, one here. And we're gonna fasten those in with two HP screws. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, anyway, it's gonna look just like that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for stage 27. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 28. You're gonna build a time machine into a car. Why not do it with some style? All right, here's the magazine for stage 28. Let's go ahead and get a quick look inside there to see our parts and everything. Here we are. And uh, yeah, we're working on the uh, radiator here, radiator mount. We're putting it together here and mounting it to those two brackets that we just put on the car right there. Get a look on through real quick. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we got 28A, 28B. I'm gonna be putting those together. And you wanna just follow the shape of it. You can see it's kind of rounded on the one side and rounded here. And it's just gonna sit over these pegs just like that. All right? Yeah. Nice. 
Here we get a 28C, the shroud here out, going this way. It looks like with the rounded side of the corners facing downwards, and we're gonna put, we're gonna line these uh, holes up over these two pins here. There we are, just like that. And then on the inside here, we're gonna screw that in with two FP screws here and here. All right, we got our two FP screws. We're gonna go ahead and screw that down. There's one, we'll go ahead and get the other one in. To try not to damage the radiator, we don't want it to leak. There we go. It's gonna look like that. Screw it in, in there. Yeah, we're gonna get our friend, our friend, our fans and shroud out from the last stage. We're gonna be putting that on here. I'm gonna take the shroud this direction with these two pins facing upwards. And the fans, I don't know if there's a difference in how they go. Okay, there is, sorry. So we have the two arms and then the one single arm facing down and we wanna put it that way on the shroud. Just like that and then we got six holes here. Two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna be screwing that in with AP screws. All right guys, it's gonna look just like that. Yeah, we're gonna get our frame back out again. These two holes here and here are gonna be going over this mount. And it's gonna sit on this direction with these two pins facing straight up. So now we're gonna to have to flip this over to mount this on. And once again, I'm gonna put this over here just so it's not sitting on the motor like that. All right, and we're gonna sit this inside like this, and it's gonna to mount to those two holes with two FP screws. So lined up and get one going. All right, guys, it's gonna look like that from the bottom and like this from the top. Yes, yeah, the end of issue 28. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 29. Like the boring? What the hell is going on here? All right, here we go with issue 29. Let's get a look in there. Here are parts. All right, this we have that big metal uh, chassis plate here we're gonna be putting on. And then this center plate here. It's gonna be going on like this with the center plate. And then when we get done, it should look like that. Get a quick look through here. All right, now this is the parts that we're gonna be missing. This is stage 30. We're not gonna have these pipes to hook up, so we'll be skipping this and moving on to 31 when we're done with this. So let's go ahead and get started on 29 here. All right, guys, here we go. We got this big metal plate here. This is 29A, and we're gonna be putting that uh, underneath here. It's gonna go this direction with this large V facing towards the front of the car. We're gonna slide it underneath. And it's gonna lift up like this, and it's gonna secure here and here with two DM screws. Since that's metal, we're gonna add a little oil to these two pins here. Just a little bloop bloop. Got a couple of DM screws here. Let's go ahead and get this fastened on. Again, you could flip this over, but then you wouldn't be able to get to the screws. Here we go, guys. It's on there nice and snug. We have four more DM screws uh, here, 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 and here to put in. So let's go ahead and put a bloop of oil in those. Just like that. Let's get them screws put on. All right, now we have that on. Let's flip this back over again. That's better. Okay, once again, let's go ahead and put this in. And this is actually getting screwed in with two BM screws. Uh, yes, just two at the moment. And they're going to be going on these two outside holes towards the back here and here. Put a little oil in those. Just like that. Put that back on. All right, guys, that's all there is to do in stage 29. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 31. See if you bastards can do 90. All right, here we go with stage 31. Let's get a look inside. Now, this one is just these two little uh, chassis plates here that's gonna be going on. Looks like they have a lot of screws holding them on though. Again, these are the pipes that we're gonna be running in stage 30 when we finally get it. So these two plates shouldn't uh, interfere with that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. But one's gonna go on each side. 
All right, when we get done, it's going to look like this. You can't really see it. Well, you can kind of see one right there. There's going to be one on this side, one on that side. There's the Sports Almanac. Wouldn't you love to go into the future and get a Sports Almanac and come back and uh, do a little gambling? I wouldn't be like Biff, though. I wouldn't be like Biff. All right, guys, this is going to be uh, what we're going to be getting in the next box, uh, only it's not shipping yet, so we... We'll see what happens with that. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to get our chassis back out here. This thing's already extremely heavy. Extremely heavy. Crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to flip this bad boy back over once again. So I'm going to use this again to uh, just kind of prop up the back so it's not sitting on the motor. There we go. Got all of our BM screws out here, and we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of screws going in on this one. So basically, we got one of these going on each side, on here and here, like that. And again, our piping is gonna be running down inside here, so it's not gonna be in the way. Let's go ahead and get these off. We're gonna put some oil on all these holes and start screwing these down. All right, we're going to screw all these in. All right, guys, we're all done there. That's what that's going to look like, all screwed in. Flip it back over here. All right, guys, that is the end of issue 31 and the end of box 7 for now. We still have issue 30 to do. We'll be doing that later. Uh, when it comes in but for now that is the end of box seven so let's go ahead and get back to the main camera so why don't you make like a tree and get out of here all right guys again that is the end of box seven for now until we get issues 30 in uh but yeah it's looking pretty nice i got the motor mounted in now we've got this base plate put on this thing is already feels like it weighs about I don't know, five, six pounds. It's It's got some weight to it already. Uh, loving this build. Uh, wish things were coming in a little more uh, uniform, but uh, I mean, it's it's this is happening to everybody. So, you know, I'm not I'm not going to complain too much about it. Yeah, uh, right. At least I am getting some parts in to build. So uh, anyways, like I said, they have box nine already shipped. They haven't shipped box eight yet. Whenever that comes in, we'll be continuing this on. Next, I I think I'll be doing uh, working on the um, RoboCop. I've got another box for RoboCop in. And uh, I've got some other builds to do, including a um, some mock Lego builds that I've gotten off of Timu that look really cool. So I'll be doing those as well. So, so anyways, guys, if you are liking these videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And then scroll right over there and hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Tree Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See? Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs>